Welcome back to the Wandering Wind Ministries. My name is Gregory and I am your digital video missionary. And today I would like to read day 15 of the step one life recovery devotional readings. Today's title is Serenity Despite Powerlessness. Wow, that's a powerful one. The Bible reading for today is Luke 1, 26 through 56. Step one, we admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. There are times in life when we are pow powerless over the circumstances around us. We're not in the driver's seat. We have to do things someone else's way. And often the whole experience is uncomfortable and frightening. During these times, we can find hope and serenity in the promises of God. Mary was in her early teens when destiny took her by the hand. She was greeted by an angel who announced that she had been chosen by God to be the mother of the Messiah. She found herself pregnant, much to, to the confusion of her fiance, family, friends, and neighbors. After the angel returned to visit her fiance, he believed Mary's story and married her. When the time came to gave, give birth, she and Joseph were required to travel a long, difficult journey to Bethlehem. There, in a smelly stable carved out of the side of a rocky hill, she delivered the baby. No one but her husband was there to attend Jesus' birth. What power did she have over her circumstances? She was powerless under the will of God, the decree of the state, the limitations of their financial poverty, and the demands of her body. And yet, by holding on to the promises God had given her, she found serenity in her powerlessness and gave birth to the Savior. When we are powerless, we can find serenity by holding on to God's promises. When we do this, we will find new life and salvation being born again into our lives. No matter what our circumstances, God meets us there with his grace. You know, that is so true because I find in many of my situations in life that if I just focus on how God is meeting my needs in the moment, I no longer have to worry about the powerlessness I face or the problems that are coming up against me or anything else because honestly, our program is a day-at-a-time thing. We don't recover by leaps and bounds, but by steps and inches, you know? And so when, when you come up against something that you're powerless against, praise God for it, because that means that you're doing something that hopefully he will, well, that he will carry you through, but he will also give you something good out of it something wonderful out of it and then and then and then you find peace in that peace within powerlessness hope within dire circumstances because when we serve the god of the universe we don't have to worry about flesh and blood enemies instead we fight against the spirit behind that and with god's power we succeed and we thrive Remember, 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 this program of life recovery is not a leaps and bounds process, but a moment by moment, day by day, step by step journey to recovery. Just because you're not going as fast as somebody else you might know, doesn't mean you're not going, doesn't mean you're not progressing. We don't, we don't measure in terms of perfection, but in terms of progress. As we keep moving forward in our recovery, we look back to see where we were and we get to see the change that God has brought in us and through us for recovery, for relationship with him, and for his glory. And so I just want to encourage each and every one of you, keep moving forward. Don't lose hope. Don't lose what grace God has given you in this moment, but rather continue to be faithful 
to his purpose in your life. And he will continue to be faithful to you. As always, please, please keep me in your prayers as I keep you in mine so that we may both be bolstered by the prayer of a believer so that we might find victory in this life and eternal and eternal happiness in the next. Thank you so much. Thank you for how you support this channel, whether it's financially, by subscribing, by watching, by praying. Thank you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you as you go. And I'll speak with you again next time.